When you hear about Parkinson's disease, many of us think about actor Michael J. Fox. We've seen the tremors and the jerking motions it can cause, but there are symptoms that are not always obvious. When our person of the week was diagnosed with Parkinson's, she dedicated herself to making a difference. Ever since, she's been improving the lives of people locally and nationally, including at a World Congress in Montreal. When it's time to go to work, Linda Morgan goes no farther than her living room. Four hospitals we watch over. She's a pharmacist. The orders come across. It wasn't always this way. Probably the only thing I can do right now. But when it got too difficult to work at the pharmacy, things changed. It began with a phone call seven years ago. I was given my diagnosis over the phone. So the physician called. It was a good day. It was in the morning. The kids were at school. It was Parkinson's disease. And so, um, so I asked the phone. I think all of us had an emotional uh, problem accepting this in the beginning. But it didn't take Linda long to get past acceptance to taking action. I immediately went into, well, what can I do? You know, what can, <clears throat> I'm not going to just wait for things to happen. What can I do? We're ready and waiting in Canada. A few weeks ago, she was invited to speak to doctors, researchers, and patients at the World Parkinson Congress in Montreal. Because it is a unique opportunity to present who you are and what you do to the world community. For Linda, that means advocating for patient involvement in clinical research. This seems so ABC and so common sense, but see the patient as part of the process. She has been in a number of studies. She found it and took part in her first one only a month after being diagnosed. People not only in Asheville but uh, all over the country call and email and ask for, for advice and support. It's a great program. In Asheville, she began a support group for people with Parkinson's, all with a lot of questions and not enough answers. Don't you go through a stage where it's like, how did this happen? What, what's the, you what's know, the what caused this? Dealing with symptoms other than tremors, some that can't always be seen, including depression. Well, was, for Dudley was Culp, it was almost unbearable. I mean, I was suicidal, and that's not, that's not who I am. I'm hanging out at home a lot. You know, I'd rather go out but I don't want to go out. Just two members of a larger group that draws strength from each other. Keeping up with things and being on the cutting edge and knowing what's going on and then sharing all that if I can. Just wish I'd met Linda earlier. It would have been helpful and very beneficial for me to... Well, she doesn't give up, you know. She's, she's a trooper. She is someone who could have withdrawn, given up. But instead, Linda Morgan is giving hope. I need to do that too. Have you done that? Well, one of Linda's primary goals is to shorten the process of research and clinical trials, which can sometimes take 10 years or more. To learn more about Parkinson's, its symptoms, and the research, go to WLOS.com and click News Links.